Welcome back. Here we are again. Welcome back. Here we are again. Cyber Manhunt. We're going to subject ourselves to the third chapter here. And the only reason I'm doing so is because I really want this game to be a... I really want it to be good. <laughs> I do. Uh, it's not, but I do. Uh, skip. It's back in the game, boy. Um, all right. So I did not enjoy, I, I did not enjoy the tutorial. Chapter one was all right. I did not enjoy chapter two. Chapter three. I don't know how many chapters there are in this, this game, but there's two DLC and a free DLC. So three DLC total. Um, you know, if, if it were worthwhile, I, I'd, I'd play through all of them. Uh, so this will determine... I know I say that every part, but this really is going to be the last part. If this if chapter three sucks, I'm really I'm really done. So, come on, Poppy Pie, let's get two. Fire. Some beanie masked figure, it seems. Somebody beaten with a is it supposed to be a piece of rebar or crowbar? It didn't look like either. Five November. The evidence vanishes. Okay. Oh, you're still here. Just received another urgent mission. So, of course, you call me. Austin, the son of SEC's chairman, has been missing for 36 hours. We need to find him before the cops. Why? Why? He's missing. Call the cops. Fiscal year 2021 will be over soon. Our financial report is under the scrutiny of many people. So, we are... Circumventing law enforcement because you're worried about the company's bottom line. You are definitely the bad guys. Titan is... Why am I working for you? If we can do the SEC chairman a small favor, we can resolve such issues easily in the future. So, leverage over somebody who has regulatory authority over the company. Do you understand just how important your responsibility is? Do you understand how illegal this is? Of course, I only have one answer. The cops so. are already investigating. We need to be ahead of them or everything will be meaningless. I hate you. I hate Titan. I, I hate myself. I hate this game. Let's get started. <sighs> Sarah Smith, the woman involved in the Mullen Road accident, recovered early yesterday from coma. Oh, Sarah was... Uh, this is from the last... Uh, scenario. Sarah was the one where he was all like, let's make some content tomorrow. Um, as we, she stayed at John's Hotel, secretly filmed and later threatened by the hotel on the day of the incident. Her first company to Amanda Mullen Road. On the way down the hill, she decided to fight back and grab the steering wheel, so she was the cause of the accident. She's probably the the one that I, uh, the one clue that I missed before. Her name was probably on the list and I didn't click on it. So... Um, hold on. Let me actually read this here. Um, according to the police investigation, John had also coerced another woman named Elsie, and it was Elsie who proposed the idea to go to Mullen Road. She planned to take revenge on John and Mullen Road. However, she was later persuaded by friends not to go through with it, which enraged John. Elsie stead John violently forced Sarah to go, which ultimately led to this incident. All right. I don't like the way that story was resolved. I would rather Elsie actually did. I mean, I don't didn't want anybody else to be hurt, but it would be it would have been much better if Elsie had actually sabotaged John's car and caused his death, but they didn't call it out. Like the only clue that we had that Elsie was responsible was the search 
history in her phone for cutting uh, brakes on cars. So. All right. I don't. Lost it. No. The fact that we are trying to get ahead of the police is very disconcerting. Okay. All right. Let's begin where we begin. Missing person notice. My daughter Sala has been missing for three days. She's shooting at. Okay. What does this have to do? This is just another advertisement for that other game. What does this have to do with this scenario? Okay, this. The, uh, so, by the way, I, I did get keyword. I, I did pick up a copy of it, and I do plan on playing it. So, uh, just because I'm curious. I, I don't know. I guess this advertising uh, uh, worked on me. Uh, but this kind of pisses me off because this clearly has nothing to do with the scenario. This is just a cram in an ad. Austin Oz, toothbook. Austin Oz, toothbook. Austin Oz, toothbook. Stupid pop up. In the blink of an eye, a year as a student council president has passed. Fucking pop up. I think I'll support through the series. That camp is incredible. Uh, of course you're up for BR. Is that idiot, Jim? He's good at math. Uh, hockey practice. Jim Jones. He's got a face that's made to be punched. Hate the way everyone talks in this game. <laughs> I've measured my height this morning, and again, I've grown two centimeters. You're six foot two. I just like the mixing of the units of measurement, like metric and imperial. Raised Cyclops. Why aren't we collecting this? He's having delusions or being stalked by a Cyclops, for God's sake. All right. All right. And let's also search for... Stool. No. Oops, I misspelled it. Bolton. A stool. There we go. Oh, look who's right on the front page. It's your boy. <laughs> Laboratory renovation principles taking... Is Jim a dark horse? Doesn't sound like he is. Telephone number. We can't collect. Our story. Mackie Kusi and her husband. Okay. Our company, Kusi. Public welfare ambassador. Why is it Bolton High School if it was founded by Miss Mackie Kusi and her husband, Salem Will? Neither of them are named Bolton. Okay. Activities. AI painting robots. Um, okay. AI robot that can replicate human creativity in painting? I disagree. Upon receiving verbal command, it will draw flowers, birds, fishes, and insects, mountains creating artistic value. So it replicates the human work of artistic creation, 
not replicating the human work of human creativity. That's a pretty important distinction, don't you reckon, Jim? Austin, getting well, can I super close to me? Okay, no table lamp, wood carving. See, either of these pictures important. And that's that. And BBS. Registration begins for the science contest. Okay, let's take these one at a time. Hopefully he won't mess up like last year. Oh, excuse me, how are we to believe that this is uh, all done over a rivalry with the science fair? Although Jim is a slug, his work last year was quite good. Made a robotic arm which was destroyed by, uh, a, you know, destroyed by a, a you know. <laughs> Wow, people are kind of mean to Jim. I feel bad for him. Okay. I haven't found any useful information in the BBS so far. Cyclops the Phantom. Is there sound trying to get around the firewall again? What? Climbed around the school's wall, not firewall. That's just a wall. A firewall can be a literal physical thing. It's not like it was a term that was invented just for the security appliance. But a firewall is exactly that. It is a physical wall separating two different areas to prevent fire from hopping between them. For example, the firewall in your automobile. Wow, people are... Jesus Christ, people are fucking torturing Jim. <sighs> He's not gonna beating him up and tying him to the thing and... Perhaps the principal really is blind, who cares about such a nobody? Fucking... People are terrible. I hope you all get kidnapped. Yes, because our value is determined by what we're able to produce. It's okay that he's weird because he's good at technology and robotics and stuff. Because we are all judged by our productivity. Well, not all of us, but... That's what, it, that's what you need in order to be respected. You have to be able to produce shit. That's what life is, right? B.O.B. All the information about Prince Charming Austin. Author Ice Cream. God, even the fucking high school is like an anime high school. Honestly, it's really irritating to me. I've never been an anime guy. And part of the reason I'm not an anime guy is because of shit like this. Like the storytelling and the plot devices and the, the way that they talk and the fucking settings and shit. It's all so... Ugh. Um, D.O.B. I'm in. No offense to those who like anime. I realize that it's uh, quite a popular media. It's just uh, certainly not for me for those reasons. I just can't personally get past it, is all. All right, now we got to do the long, long thing here. That's not what I wanted. Copy. 
Haste. Tell. ID. And it's not entirely uh, entirely true either. I should say it's not entirely uh, exclusive. When I was younger, I did I did watch certain things. This was in the '90s, of course. So at the time, things like Akira and Perfect Dark and whatnot were. Or did I say Perfect Dark? I mean, Perfect Dark was a thing, but it's not the. It just I just realized it's not the show. Perfect Blue. Last name and number again. Uh, okay, let's switch user and try email. Uh, perfect something or other. Um, and then of course there's the obligatory. My kids love, um, you know, My Hero Academia and My Neighbor Totoro and Kiki's Delivery Service. If you could even even if that even is considered part of that genre these days, yes, you may come to my office this afternoon and check it. Leak the final exam questionnaire to Austin ahead of time. Schools lab renovation equipment purchase. We just saw that on the website, so. Okay. And sent. And that's that. Let's try high talk. Okay. What a weird conversation they had. Austin is a piece of shit, just like everybody else at this school. What are you planning? Then it'll have to be destroyed. Go get me a bucket of gasoline. Uh, what are you planning? Are you seriously, George? You fucking stupid or something? What? It'll have to be destroyed. Go get me a bucket of gasoline. God. Ah. La, 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 la. La 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 la. Just want to teach him a lesson. Just want to teach him a lesson. That he's a piece of shit and he should never try and do anything. He should never do any work. He should never be proud of anything. That'll teach him. Because I don't like him. He's not worth anything. I am. I'm awesome. Jim's science team. Oh, shit. Jim was getting some of what Austin wanted. Ah, uh, fucking good. Why am I trying to find you again? Oh, that's right. We're trying to, uh, we're trying to obstruct justice while the police are investigating. That's right. I forgot. I mean, I, I, while, while I'm all for obstructing justice, I don't know if this guy seems like he's worth saving, personally. Okay, so we got our high talk. Got nothing on Jim. We've got uh, her name and number, though. And that is enough for us to use the terrifying Titan database. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, I don't think we have enough to crack yet. I'm not sure if this nickname is a nickname or not. That is a telephone number, not a real name. Uh, ID. Yo, B. 
House number. Mackie. We do. QC969. Nice. I knew she was a freak. Look at her. Yamail. Yamail. All right, please watch out. Possible fire. This is not a prank. That was George. The guy who's all like, you're going to destroy something with gasoline? What are you going to do? Some kind of picture. It's a picture of everyone, of course, everyone bullying Jim. Yeah, that's what it is. Hi, I'm Isabel. Well, that's, that's the chick that Austin was trying to get with. Uh, yeah. No shit. Of course, she did nothing about it. She's, she's just the principal. Most students seem to like Austin. Yeah, that looked like a friendly joke. Taping his fucking head up. That sounds like a funny joke. Everyone was everyone was in on that one. Okay. Um I'm at a bit of a standstill here. Um Oh, that's right, I do have her number. Let's try that. Sorry, excuse me. Um. um oh. I just see, I saw that we're full. Um, and Ashley didn't pop up to bug the shit out of us. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, we can do this. I'm, I'm actually glad Ashley didn't pop up. I just didn't... <laughs> I just didn't expect, uh, uh, to be left to my own devices after two chapters where she's constantly fucking bothering me. All right. Um, what happened before Austin's disappearance? Drag the following to select. These emotions don't make any sense. <laughs> Shield like hate. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, okay, I got you. Uh, so, like uh, control. I could go with either. Uh, control. Help. Shield. No? Okay. Then hate. Like. Help. Shield. No? Um. Well, this has got to be shield, because she's covering for him all over the place. Um. Browby. What's Browby? What is that supposed to be? Oh, wait, I've been using like here. Isabel does not like Austin. Austin likes Isabel. So, hate seems, hate seems strong. What the fuck is browby? I, I can't believe I actually have to look up a word here. Nothing comes up for Browby. Is it a word in another language? Where is Aluba Studios? Oh, Korea. Okay. 
Well, then I can understand some of the grammatical and language issues. I mean, clearly the voice actors speak fluent English because it didn't detect a single... Well, I mean, there were some of them that had a bit of an accent, but not a Korean accent. Um, but that does explain that. Um... Then let me go to Google Translate. See if. Um, it's a J Korean. No, wait, no, this should be Korean to English. I don't, I don't, it's not making any sense. <laughs> All right. I know what brow beat is. Um, all right. Uh, so Austin, whatever, let's, let's move on. Right now. Um, Austin did ask George for help, but that is a happy helping. And George was not happy to help. It's more like this. And then Austin hates Jim Jones. And then, no, because Isabel does not like Browby or help. Is it supposed to be browbeat? Is it supposed to be browbeating? Is that, is it just, is it just not? Big enough for the whole word, then why use that word? To browbeat is to intimidate and subjugate. Is that what this is? Because that's accurate. But it says browby, not browbeat. And also, that's a smiling devil. Whatever. Let's see if that's right. Because she, this is the only thing that's left is she hates him. Okay. It's painful. It's painful to play. Um, please click on the images to view the details of each event. Sort them by the chronological order. Okay. Jim was bullied by Austin for a long time. Austin confessed his love to Isabel but got rejected. Austin knocked over Isabel's lunchbox. Austin planned to mess with Jim in the exhibition hall tonight. George wrote to the principal to keep an eye out for a fire. Jim ran for student council president. It was against bullying. Austin planned to mess with Jim in the exhibition hall tonight. Isabella joined Jim's science team. Jim created an incredible science project. Austin demanded George bring him fire. There we go. Is that right? No. Okay. Well, at least it tells me which ones are right and which ones are wrong. Um, I think this happened after... Okay. Um, vandalize the school hockey goal. All right. He ran for student council president. Sizable donation from that's seven eleven. That's eleven three or Okay, so then
science competition. There's no dates on these. Um, it's eleven three. Yeah, night. Are you home yet? I doubt that she actually went out with him. Ten sixteen. Okay, so it seems it's eleven three. Ten sixteen. So it seems like it would be this, and then that obviously happened after. That obviously happened after. So this must be next, unless yeah, that has to be after this. Um. So then here, he gets mad at that, then that obviously happens after that. Um, I should plan a message to him in the exhibition hall. And this obviously has to be after that. The only question I have is whether or not uh, five or six need to be swapped. So if uh, I'll hit this, if it's wrong, then I know it's five or six. Okay, that was right. Well, yeah, no shit. Literally said he was going to do that. Oh, hold on a sec. Looks like on the night Austin disappeared, he went to school with the gasoline to find right. Jim. My sound was none. Uh, looks like... <laughs> and then he was gone. Something must have happened to me. Perhaps we could pose as the assistant of Austin's father, Harry Swift, and call the principal to see what she... Okay, let's do. <laughs> Hello, who is speaking? Hello, Harry Swift here. Oh, hello, Mr. Swift. Yes, we met once. I knew it was you as soon as I heard your voice. I just finished speaking with the police. I'm arranging to have someone cooperate with the police. So, what's this call about? Oh, well, it's about your voice acting. It's atrocious, you see. Hiding? Me? Why would I do that? Last time when Mr. Hill came to me, I already told him everything I knew. Oh, are you so certain? Are you so certain? In this universe of limitless possibilities, can we be certain about anything? Oh, okay. We have to actually ask something. Are you so certain? Um, we could bust her about the final exam. We know that she, well, no, because we're supposed to be the people's assistants. We wouldn't be like, you did a bad thing because, I mean, it was our son that was getting the, the test results so, or the test answers. So, but then we wouldn't want to bust him about the fire either. We could make it seem like we know that Isabel is involved and see if she slips up. This is a tough call. I feel like this is a guessing game more than anything else. Because none of these seem like... Uh, if if I were able to actually choose my own... Like... Uh, avenue here. My own responses. It wouldn't be any of these. Any puzzle game that relies on guessing is just a really bad puzzle game. Feel okay of these, I guess. Let's ask about Isabel. 
do you mean the girl who recently transferred here? As far as I'm aware, there's no connection between her and Austin's disappearance. If you're interested, go ask her yourself. I'm asking you, Maggie Cousy. If Mr. Hill won't take my word for it, I suppose we'll just have to wait for the police to prove it all. I've got a stack of paperwork about a foot high waiting for me right now, so if you'll ex Okay. Then that was wrong. Now I have to my my punishment is I have to sit through all that fucking voice hello, acting again. Who's speaking? Can you please just Oh hello Please Mr. just go Swift. Oh my yes, god. We met once. Click 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 okay. Problem solved. I just finished speaking with the police. I'm arranging to have someone cooperate with the police. So, what's this call about? Hiding me? Why would I do that? Last time when Mr. Hill came to me, I already told him everything I knew. I know you can still hear it, but I can't. And I'm so grateful for that, because even without being able to actually hear the dialogue, I can still hear the dialogue in my head, if you know what I mean. It's that bad. All right. Uh, well, if this is, so, so if it, if this wasn't the answer, then this is purely a guessing game. Fuck off. This has nothing to do with Austin's disappearance. Did I choose wrong again? Oh, I'm sorry. It's a one in three, totally random fucking thing. You should know, the police have specifically instructed me not to discuss matters related to the case with unrelated people. <sighs> we are related to this case. It's my son. I mean, my boss's son, you hag. <sighs> Why make me click twice? Just, just go. Threaten or lure. Oh, great. Well, it's another guessing game, but it's a 50-50. Forgive my earlier slip of the tongue. <laughs> As Austin's father, Mr. Hill is the first person who should know about this case. Truth is, we're not hiding anything. Yet, I can say there was a small and insignificant event. The science and technology exhibition caught fire the night Austin disappeared. I concealed... Not yet. Yes, it was a student named Jim Jones who called. It was after 9 p.m. Jim was the only student who was still at the school. Sure, let me see. Ah, here it. I just can't believe Principal Mackey tried to cover up the fire in With respect to the fire incident, we need to investigate Jim. We may f Having a phone call from Ashley directly after this phone call with Mackey was just insult to injury. Alright, now let's see. Collect all the stuff we gotta collect, because God knows if we forget to click on one thing, then we don't get our, uh, our uh, perfect score here at the end, so... And of course, we can't collect it as we go. We have to scroll back up afterwards. <clears throat> All right. All right, now we've got his number. We can use the... 
database of terror. I like this. I just noticed VirtualBox dropped files. There's a directory here. <laughs> we have a we have a C file. Uh, we have an SSH directory fetching some key. We have a test Unix database. We have a virtual. This is just gibberish. This is gibberish. All right, Clark, get the fuck. Oh, we don't have his, uh, we don't have his, um, uh, nickname. So, can't crack just yet. Um, Did I miss it somewhere? Oh, um, maybe. It only support you on the download. Down low. Cowards. Fucking cowards. Okay. Should we search for these other people while we're here too? Uh, we already guessed this one. What about George? George, 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 George. George, you're a fucking coward, too. I saw you in that picture holding Jim's arms back while his face was being taped up. You might think you're innocent in this, but you're not. I'd like to be on Jim's team if you're shorthanded. No, fuck you, George. Fuck you. You picked your side. You decided that you were going to be a brown shirt. That you were going to side with the strong to prey upon the weak because you were afraid of being preyed upon yourself. That makes you even worse than a coward. I'm not going to try and spell this name. And it's private. Ooh. Might just be some juicy secrets in there. And irrelevant. Okay, well, now that we've got old Jim Jones information, shit don't make no sense, but we're doing it anyway. Dynamite. I talk, copy, paste, 
copy paste. All right. Did Austin bother you? He flipped my lunchbox. Why did you do that? I denied his love. I was hoping you I don't know. Nobody will notice it right. No chance. No chance. You probably have more running than my injuries. Oh, they got secrets. Ah, see, they are colluding. Isabel was in on this. That explains the message where she was all like, I had fun tonight, blah, blah, blah. It's part of her alibi. Elvis. Ah, oh, I didn't want to be last night. Uh huh. You, ha I have to follow him and do these. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't have to do any of these things because my dad is awesome. That doesn't mean anything. You're still a uh, fucking sycophant for a fucking bully. Are Isabel and Jim colluding on their testimony? Yeah. Looks like we're in. The I think you can try hacking Jim's mobile phone. It may have what we need. I think I'm doing just fine on my own here, Ashley. I really do. Okay. Poor Jim. All right. Let's see if we got any brain buster hacker puzzles here. Uh, okay. Uh, science for sure. I mean, he also is into games. We saw him playing games all day. But I think science is his real passion. Number here. Um, oh, we're already running out of time. Photo. Project Fast food. One, two, three, four, five. So fast food, one, one, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, uh, is that supposed to be a phone unlock? No data. No data. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Those don't work. Uh, crack now. Is this supposed to be it? Oh, uh, shit. What was it? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, damn it. I thought that was it. Um, all right, we'll come back to that. And that's not the phone unlock as I thought it was apparently. 
as I'm pretty sure I entered it right. Near a cemetery, how long does it take to burn somebody to death? Jesus, don't search for that on your phone, dude. It's so easy to recover this data. Nothing. Okay. Let me guess I'm going to find out he wasn't actually at the... No, okay. Connection. Um, I'm looking available. Okay, I don't have that. Uh... One one six ones. Password is my birthday. Holy shit. Um Don't be a stick in the mud, there's so much in the weather kind of gonna say take my lucky number two, for example. Just number a few. Choose nothing. My phone password. Something more. There are five numbers. It starts with two, but there's no way I'm telling you my password. <sighs> nothing. Okay. Shit, we're running out of time. Oh, wait. Uh, it's not a perfect Z. This is very clearly meant to not like this is the bottom, and here's the last one on the bottom, middle, top. Supposed to be the other way. Supposed to be this way. That worked. I have no idea what I just did, though. Children's Day. Wi Fi unavailable to update this. Uh, it's my birthday. You don't have your birthday in your calendar. Is that supposed to be it? 0601 2021? Is that is that what Children's Day is? No. Okay. Um Fuck. Oh wait, we have his DOB in here, don't we? Yes, we do, okay. Okay. Okay, we got two of two. 
I don't know if there was anything else important there for us to know. I was running too low on time. So I'm I'm sure it's one of those things where there's probably really important story information in there, but I just did not have time to do it. So I guess maybe I could try. My understanding is that you can only do that once. That's what Ashley had told us during part two, or is it part one? Well, in any event, I, uh, I assume, I guess. Um, I talk. Jennifer, who is Jennifer? Okay. <clears throat> we should be able to collect. Well, I suppose this is. We don't have George's address, but she says that we're all neighbors. So he's 300 and something. Notting Street. Okay. Um, uh, oh, that's right. She's the, also the one with the uh, hidden tooth book. Let's see if this works for that. Oh, don't reuse passwords, people. Don't do it. Get yourself a password vault. Um, And he immediately brought over some of his admirers to mess with me. Yeah, we'll get to that in a sec. There once was a girl, Julianne, who turned away Austin's love. She ended up really bad off. Austin's the coolest. He's so fucking cool. I want to be just like him. She's into mysteries. Okay, now let's see what that email was about. Oh, another one of these. Oh, I love these. Isabel, have you seen the BBS campus? No. Is there something you want to tell me about it? Someone took a photo of Cyclops there that day. What are you talking about? Someone took photographs that night. The place was on fire. Cyclops was there. Recyclops. So seen Austin with us that day? I don't know if he saw it, but what if he told the police? <sighs> don't be afraid. It wasn't us who killed Austin. He let himself suffer. It's not our fault. No matter what, don't panic. Cyclops was acting crazy all day. The police won't believe a lunatic's words. Jim. Going back to what we discussed earlier, can you still do it? Um, yes, I can do it. All right, but don't scare yourself silly. Bye.
Bye. Okay. Um Oh. Uh we are once again full on this bar. Uh, I didn't get a message from Ashley. Again, not complaining about it. Not complaining. Okay. Uh it was about 8. Mhm. Mm from the photo and from uh, the conversations. Um, well, Austin, Jim, Isabel. Try to figure out how the fire happened in chronological order. Okay, so Jim and Isabel stayed after school to set up his... Okay, yes. Jim was the only one on the scene when the fire trucks arrived, so that's going to be one of the last. Uh, around 8 p.m., the fire was lit in the school's exhibition hall, so that will be close to the end. Oh, I can leave these flipped? Oh, okay. Um, Austin went missing after the fire. This car was on his mic. Okay, so then this obviously goes here. Uh, didn't it burn? That looks about right to me. Streets and Austin fled after starting the fire. Austin was injured when starting the fire. Jim and Isabel's experiment went awry. Oh, well, that I'm not so sure on. Um, I don't think we have any... Um, I don't think we have any... Um, uh, information or evidence about their experiment going awry. So the first two are the most likely... Um, I did see something about someone treating injuries, but I thought that was Isabel. Uh. Yeah, I thought I saw somebody about um, treating their injuries, but I thought it was Isabel. So Austin fled after starting the fire? Oh, then it must be this one. <clears throat> Good. I hope he's not. If Hello, something Ashley. really happened to Austin, Isabel must know the truth. Okay. The most important thing now is to find out from Isabel what really happened that night. I no, I think we're good. I think we can stop right here. I don't see any reason to continue the investigation. I think uh good job. Good job, Ashley. I think uh I think we're done. Let's move on to the next thing. Let's pose as cops and question her over. Holy the shit, that's see illegal. She'll crack under the pressure. Holy shit, that's illegal. Okie dokie. Let's break the law. <clears throat> That's me. Who is this? I'm a cop. And I'm here to bust you if you don't answer my questions. Oh. Okay. Oh, boy. Another guessing game. Um, all right. Well, she was supposed to be the last person to see Austin alive, so. Uh, let me think. It was November 3rd. We had a date that night after school. It 
it was from about 7.30 until 9.30, I think. And he drove off. Come on. Uh, yep. Austin's car was at school around 8 p.m., we know that. Uh, like, yeah, I didn't make that clear. After school, after school, I went home first, and I didn't see him until 8.30 p.m. I don't know where he was before. Uh, it doesn't seem to fit the facts either. Um, so, <laughs> the Cyclops saw you at school. Jim admitted he was with you. Austin asked George to get some gasoline. Well, we don't have any evidence. Jim, uh, Jim admitted he was with you. Would be a gambit. Uh, that's not true. He didn't. Um, he was with her, but he didn't admit it. Cyclops saw you at the school. We haven't got like that. Doesn't make any sense. Cyclops, as far as we know, isn't even a real person. It's just a thing. I don't know. It's got to be this one, right? Yeah, it's got to be this one. How am I supposed to know what he was thinking? You better find Austin and ask him yourself. Did he mention wanting to start a fire to you? Oh, okay. I'm going to go with this one just because it's such a stupid fucking answer. No, we weren't. Besides, Cyclops is a lunatic. Cyclops. How can you believe that madman? I was on a date with Austin. I was the last person to see. Yeah, she, she, we know that she was injured. Oh, uh, shit. Which was it? I want to say left arm, but I can't, I don't know if that's something we actually read and I'm remembering something that's real or if I just am totally making it up. Is that right? I, uh, because it was Austin. Wanted to burn down the exhibition. Yeah, okay, okay, I guess that was right. <laughs> Wait a second. That means that the Cyclops answer was the real, the correct answer? Fuck. When we found the fire extinguisher and came back, he was already dead. Hey, hey, it's okay. He was. so powerful. You won't let him go. Come on. Yeah, I mean, he is, but Austin was a piece of shit. No one's going to miss him. Even his dad probably doesn't care. It's okay. It's all right. Um. <laughs> question forcefully no i'm comforting her <laughs> that's what i'm doing for real <laughs> it's okay austin sucked out loud no one is gonna miss him he was gonna grow up to be an even bigger piece of shit than he already was as long as i tell the truth yeah you did the whole yeah the whole world a favor the whole world a favor i mean he was already terrorizing the high school just imagine how bad he would have been when he got himself a high paying gig somewhere with his uh father's sec connections or something he's gonna be terrible it's fine <laughs> i swear on the gcpd jim and i split the job I was in charge of driving the car to the lake, and he was in charge of erasing any trace of Austin. After that, he set another fire and called the police. But hiding the body and covering it up was all my idea. Jim just... We drove his car to the mountain behind the school. Okay. Make sure we collect all the evidence.
Unfortunately, the worst case scenario really happened. Mm. Seems like a pretty good outcome for everybody, except, you know, Isabel and Jim are traumatized, but we need to think about how to could be worse. To Austin's father. He's going to be heartbroken. Eh, he's better Mission off too. Completed. You may choose to submit or continue to collect other. I still got 60% here on the school scandal. The school is uh, taking bribes for test answers and all kinds of shady shit. I ain't about to give up just yet. Plus, I got two passwords for two different Wi Fi networks I ain't used yet. So, um. What does it take to do one of these? We can use a house number. All right, the girl was 307, so let's try 308. Can't tab. Uh, 309. Three ten. I don't know how. Oops, that was thirty one. Three ten. I'm not. I'm not sure how high up I'm going to go here. Let's go a couple in each direction. So that was three. So let's try three oh six. Three oh five. I got it. Oh, I got it. I got it. Nice. And that should be enough to crack. And I talk. Okay, you're fearless. I'm gonna leave you turned on us and I'm not afraid of him. Okay. So yeah, and the girl who rejected Austin and they burned her face with gasoline. Jesus Christ. Go. Open. Good God. God. Seems like... Doesn't her family want justice? You're so naive. With that kind of power, his dad could have whatever he wants. Just be careful these days. I'm worried he'll get back to you. Noise. George gathered the evidence for us. Yeah. You're Austin, right? My son, along with other children, have been bullied by you at school. Due to this physical and psychological abuse, the school is now afraid that attendance will drop. You should sincerely apologize to my son and all the other children who've been victimized. Go away with your BS. In this world, it's about the survival of the fittest. What I've done is making people stronger by giving them a dose. I've made weak people like you stronger. You're a waste of space. 
If you know better, you would stay clear of me. <laughs> You're ignorant and rude. How would you like it if someone treated you that way? I bet you wouldn't be laughing then. Wow, this is scary. But who in this world dares to treat me in such a way? A father like you should realize that when I'm 30, I'll definitely be a great man. In this lifetime, you and your son will only be able to find poorly paid jobs like sweeping trash on a roadside. In I'm not listening to the rest of the shit. Fucking glad he's dead. Ray Durant. Oh my god. George is not a good guy. He's missing an eye. That's the Cyclops thing. We already saw the rest of that one. Okay, here's Durant. Ah, that's what he was doing there. And that's everything. It looks like got all the check marks. We're missing one again. No, I'm not playing this game. Uh, I'm not playing the game of hunting the one and fucking thing say, I missed. What we found is quite unthinkable. It's hard to imagine that such heinous atrocities could happen in a school, especially one with a nurturing and warm environment. It's not a nurturing and warm environment. Not at all. What makes you say that, Ashley? I didn't see anything at all about this school that makes it seem like a nurturing and warm environment, except what it says on their website. But you do seem like the kind of person that believes 100% in all the marketing and publicity shit that somebody would have on their website. So I'm not at all surprised by this. Ashley, do you have anything at all to say for yourself? Do you have a single actual original thought in that head of yours? Or do you just sit there and blink at me? Blink once for yes and twice for no. We can sympathize with what happened to Jim and Isabel, but the results of our investigation will no doubt... Will no doubt what? ...turn these two teenagers over to the judicial system. Oh. It may become challenging for them to live a normal life in the future. <sighs> Titan is up to so much shady shit, you're not going to turn a blind eye this one time. The two kids didn't do anything wrong. Austin was a piece of shit. And the fact that Austin is dead... Is obviously going to be difficult oh, for Mr. Hill to no. accept. Well, let's think about poor Mr. Hill. What about the poor Mr. It's Hills of the world? The cooperation between Titan and SEC in a precarious situation. How? How will it put the cooperation between Titan and SEC in, vicar in a... Hold on a sec. In a vicarious situation? Do you mean precarious? I think you mean precarious. Those are two different words. They have two different meanings. I didn't catch it the first time, Ashley. You almost got me. I see it. It's right there. But for the time being, we'll just have to accept that. Transmit our findings to Mr. Hill at the SEC immediately. Transmit it yourself. Be careful not to allow any interruptions in the heavily encrypted transmission. The data could be corrupted. The fact that you're even warning me of this leads me to believe that you're going to try to corrupt it. And without the evidence we've gathered, Mr. Hill would have no proof about who killed Austin. Oh. Are you... Oh, wink, wink. I gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, oh. Oops. What do you think you're doing? Oh, no, 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 this... Don't tell me you're sympathizing with these kids. This kind of thing should not happen to you. 
Oh no! I just <laughs> I was just trying to start up some World of Warcraft while I was waiting for the upload. That's all. Blameless as these kids are. Oh, Ashley, you look mad. Preservation of its relationship with Mr. Hill. I don't give a fuck about Titan and its relationship with Mr. Hill. I don't care about Mr. Hill. I don't care about you. I don't care about Titan. I don't care about any of that stuff. Oh, you order me. Oh, well then. Oh, well, if it's an order, that's a horse of a different color. <laughs> okay. Well, go ahead and do that, and I'm sure I'll... Do something with your back end or whatever. Seriously affected Titan's plans. My ineptitude? My ineptitude? I've been doing all the work. You've been video calling me occasionally to bother me and interrupt me. I will be logging this in my report. Oh you god, no. You can expect punishment for your actions. Oh god, no. Don't log it in the report. Not my permanent record. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Something the bad, I hope. Is down again. Now there's massive data corruption. Ashley, you look so mad. Oh, we got the hoodie hacker. Hello. It Who's floating on a chair? Look at him bobbing up and down, floating on a chair. You must be surprised by my sudden appearance. I'm mean, uh, in chapter three. I am rather surprised suddenly to have. Oh no, it's Fan. I know you. Into Titan servers while you were busy in your investigation. It was quite easy, if I'm being honest. Well, they do just let people who they are considering hiring hack uh, their infrastructure as as part of the interview process. Just any old random person as part of the interview process. That's what they had me do during the tutorial. Can you believe it? You'll find that I'm ethereal. It's ethereal. And yet, omnipresent. In the online world, you can call me Van. Okay. A lot of people prefer to call me God. I really doubt that's true. I'm thinking you're making that up. By now, you must know everyone in this world has secrets, but only God. Please stop calling yourself you that. Know. This is so fucking. You're. I feel like you spend a lot of time on r slash atheist. I'm gonna be honest with you. However, Titan stole God's forbidden fruit, an unforgivable sin. Okay. I could have destroyed them. Are you like the ants that you truly are? Do you always talk like this? Because this is not making me want to help you any more than it makes me want to help Titan. You must be thinking, you're insane, isn't that right? I'm thinking you're stupid, insane. Yeah, I, I, there's probably some kind of mental illness in there, but that's not my primary thought. Regardless of what you think, I have three questions that will turn your world upside down. Oh, riddle me these questions three. For instance, do you have a best friend? If so, what's his name? I don't. I don't have a. Okay, my answer is that I don't, but that's not an option. So, Ashley's definitely not my best friend. And I forgot doesn't make any sense. I have no need to tell you. <laughs> what day is your birthday? None of these. None of these are my birthday. New Year's Day, Christmas Eve, or uh, Valentine's Day. What a surprise. This is so much. <laughs> Don't even know your own birthday, do you? Don't feel any pressure to answer. But I'll ask Can you please me. drop the anime antagonist you shit? This is so fucking tedious. Ah, as profound as you are, and yet you still haven't fully evolved. Titan has been using you, and you never noticed. Yeah, I never noticed. I never once called that out. Surfing never once. Okay, shut the fuck up. I can't. I, uh, I I like you even less than Ashley. Somehow. 
understand. Serving you? This is the worst fucking writing. to know <laughs> but you must have faith in the power of god you, you're a madman you can't be trusted i can trust you now tell me i don't think you're a madman i think you're an idiot and i definitely don't trust an idiot i trust a madman before i trust an idiot whatever such an ignorant dot uh-huh truth be told you continued survival Okay, so then, come on, kill me. End my life, fam. Do it. Hit me. I mean, you're not wrong about those things, I guess. Whether this game of ours continues, if you behave yourself, Titan will be safe and sound. And the same goes for you. This is a stupid anime antagonist speech. However... If you can't even pass this tiny idiot proof tech. Okay. Hi. Bye bye. Oops, do I have my, uh, okay. The game has begun. Titan servers are now under my remote control. I'll eradicate all the private data that you shouldn't have. Thank you. Thank you. Do it. They shouldn't have this. I left you a little access. If you've got the skill to reorganize the RAM bank of the server matrix before the data is completely deleted then Titan's servers will reboot and return to their previous state. You're running out of time. No. Take it. Take all of their data. They shouldn't have it. It's, it's insane the amount of information this company has. Take it. You're doing a good thing, despite the fact that you're an idiot an anime antagonist. I just wish I didn't have to wait two minutes for you to do it. Do it. I'm very glad to see Titan flush down the toilet. <clears throat> ah, well. Since we have two minutes here, what should we talk about? Huh? Something to pass the time. So the last couple of months I've been uh, looking into, uh, I, I consider myself a little bit of a, of a maker, you know, um, here and there. I like to dabble with things, you know woodworking and leather crafting and so on and lately i've been getting into uh uh casting with uh epoxy resin and uh tried a couple of things you know i made some chess pieces and um and so on from some pre-made molds but i really wanted to make my own stuff so uh, i also uh, got into um casting things uh, uh i should say mold making silicone mold making so uh, I, I tried to make some dice, right? The old uh, set of seven um, tabletop RPG dice. I tell you, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's it strikes me as one of those things that takes a uh, considerable amount of uh, preparation and care to get good results. But uh, I do also like projects like that because the amount of time you put into them, generally speaking, is commiserate with the results that you get and that's just something there's something satisfying about that in this day and age it's so rare to uh to have effort equal outcome you know uh so much of the work that we do we never really see the results of and we're left guessing as to whether or not it was all worth it or not but um so much of it you know the mold making process the consideration of where to put the sprues polishing and all of that 
And it took me a good 10, 12 tries, to be perfectly honest with you, to get results that I was truly happy with. You know, uh, sometimes the silicone mold would have bubbles in it. Uh, sometimes uh, the dice would have bubbles in it afterwards. Um, and uh, so it took quite a bit. I ended up having to make my own pressure pot. I tried a vacuum chamber, but God, that just exacerbated the bubbles. Uh, there was nothing I could do to, to get them out, of course, once they were in the vacuum chamber. And it was just annoying. So I, I made myself a pressure pot from a Harbor Freight uh, uh, a paint sprayer bucket. Um, and uh, that helped with the uh, the bubble issue with both the molds and the, and the dice as they were being cast. So I made some chess pieces. I made some figurines, uh, some pre-made molds. Uh, one of them, I uh, failed to mix the epoxy correctly. It was supposed to be a little bear for my youngest daughter. She's 10. Um, and uh, uh, so I made her a little little bear, and it was blue, but I didn't mix the epoxy quite right. And it was fine when it came out of the mold. It seemed to have hardened. Uh, but over the course of the next few days, it started drooping and drooping more and more until eventually it became a uh it's very strange because it's mostly hard like you can if you tap it you know you get the uh it feels hard you can't press on it with your fingernail uh and yet over time it's just it's it's actually in fact a highly highly viscous fluid of some kind <laughs> because over the course of the next three days it started drooping down more and more and now after about two weeks or three weeks or so it's essentially a puddle uh so uh she loves it uh, we called it Depression Bear because it melted into a puddle. Um, anyway, it looks like uh, we have no choice but to play the game as they want us to play it. So They won't let us not save Titan, which seems unfair to me. Why me give me the illusion of choice? Why, why uh, laugh in my face and tell me, uh, ha ha, you're such a tool, they're using you and you don't even know it, even though I do. And then, make me do it. Yeah, fuck off with that one missing shit. Yeah, get to get blah, 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 Shut up. Yep, yep. What do you yep, think you're mad at me, I don't care. Uh, you're mad at me, I don't care. Shut up, 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 No, I gotta sit through the fucking anime shit again. God damn it, I should have just done it the first time. Damn it. Shut up, Ashley, shut up. Oh, and now you, yes, Van, Van, yes, give me the, yep, uh-huh, yep, 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 mm-hmm, mm-hmm, nothing personal, kid, heh. I forgot. Uh, that one. Uh-huh, 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 yep, yep, mm-hmm, shut up, 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 shut up. I like how they start the counter before I can even begin the minigame. So I'm already losing time, and I don't even have an opportunity yet to... Yep, I can't make it go any faster. I wonder if there's a difference with you, if you trust him or not. Maybe I should try that if I uh, fail again. Come on. At least the anime fucking monologue was skippable. Alright. Drag to change the alignment. Warning. Good, good, good. So... Either one of each or all of one, it looks like. Okay. Um, oh, but now I've got nothing on the bottom here to use. 
So we are in fact going to need to move this up here, move this up here, move this up here, move this over here, move this down here, move this up here, move this up here, uh, need this here. Oh, wait, oh, wrong thing. This here, this here, this here, um, and then swap these. Nope. Um, um, but if we swap these and swap these and this, there we go. Perfect. You might be worth my time after all. As for your secret, I'll let the cat out of the bag someday. We'll meet again soon. Heh, <laughs> nothing personal, kid. I hate Van. I hate instantaneously, within the course of a few simple systems, uh, sentences rather, I, uh, I immediately hated him as much as I hate Ashley. It's astounding how quickly they made me hate that character. And I already, I mean, I already didn't like him because I remember him from the scenario before and he seemed like a real piece of shit then, too. Um, restart the system or return, I guess, restart? Isn't that what it's, uh... Ugh, fuck me. Okay. What do you have to say, Ashley? Damn! Almost all the sensitive data on Titan servers has been stolen and deleted. Oh, no, that's terrible. The information you just found out about Austin has been wiped clean. Oh, no, that's even so bad. Oh, is there no end to this bad news? Which goddamn hacker is this? We need a name. Um, are you asking? Are you asking me? Did you find anything there? Uh... No? Is it? Is it what? As of now, the first course of action is to get the tech department to try to fix the corrupted data. Okay. As for Austin, at this moment we don't have any proof in hand, so we can't go to Mr. Hill. Oh no. I need to report this to the higher-ups. Let's call it a day. All right. Do you want to go get a drink or something? I shouldn't have to remind you that you better not do anything behind the company's back. Mm, you, I mean, you don't have to, but it wouldn't matter if you did anyway. You ought to know. No secret is safe in this world. <clears throat> All right. The evidence vanishes. Um, and again, we missed one goddamn thing and i will not be back <laughs> I, okay i will not be back for another part if you want to see another part let me know and then i'll come back but there is uh there is no way i'm going to play the next chapter of my own volition so if you if you enjoy the game or you enjoy seeing me suffer, just let me know and I'll do another part. But somebody asked for more. I gave you... Uh, what part am I on? What part am I on? Uh, somebody asked for more. I gave you three more parts, because this is part four. Um, and I, I will not continue <laughs> unless somebody really wants to see more. Because uh, this is so bad. It's so bad.
this this the the okay the tutorial was bad chapter one good chapter two bad but kind of good uh chapter three bad this is all bad um the osin part is still fine but i got shitty uh uh shitty pseudo hacker stuff and i it, you know what it's not even it's not even the gameplay that really ruined it for me here in chapter three it's the writing the writing and the voice acting and it's just it's like it's terrible it's a dime store anime it's 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 awful uh so i'm done uh i mean i'm done <laughs> take it easy um i did get a comment from uh from somebody else though um who was that who were that what said that um oh shit it's gone now somebody deleted their comment on one of the other videos um but uh somebody sorry if uh, i can't see the comment anymore so if you deleted it you know i understand uh but um somebody left a comment on one of the other cyber manhunt videos saying that this was a uh another version of an older game called orwell and as it happens i just happened to pick up orwell this morning so i will not be playing uh more cyber manhunt willingly unless somebody requests it i'm not going to do it but i am going to try orwell and i'm going to keep my fingers crossed that it is a better osint game than this so See you when we get that one. Bye.